crowdsourced translation podcast is taking the stories written and spoken in German from the life of Bertha Allahant Landre, 1902 to 1982, and with the help of translators and readers everywhere, producing them in English. Come to the website to listen, learn, and participate. He had been going steady with a Jewish girl, Marta Franken, from a well-off family for 10 years. The wedding had been postponed because Fritz was unemployed. Originally, he had had the intention to become an officer in the Marine and had actually moved up to being a low-level officer. At the end of the war, he had been discharged at age 23 without having learned anything else. There was no hope to find a position with a merchant marine because they were woefully underfunded. Finally, and thanks to the connection of his father and for almost no income, he found employment at a local bank in Aachen. Having no skills and no income, he was laid off soon, but found another position in a different local bank in 1929, though again for very low salary. The elegant Marta was used to spending money and expected to continue with her lifestyle. Between 1931 and 33, she often came for the weekend to see B and Jean in Cologne, and she made good use of the couch that should later provide nightly rest to so many unknown guests. After Hitler took power in 1933, Fritz was hesitant to be seen publicly with Marta. He had used to ask her, say, couldn't we set ourselves up like B and Jean? With your money, we would even have a little more to spend. And she had clearly refused and said, no, I could not live in such a tiny apartment and I do not want to contribute to the household from my fortune. Now he was glad for that response. The last time B had seen them together in Aachen, Fritz referred to Martha in her presence as my little Jew. Marta had not said anything, but B had asked him angrily, Am I also just your brother's little Jew? Oh, come on, that was just a joke. Not nowadays. <laughs>